Okay. After you got your your door open, cut open, and you got your uh, little notches open up, next thing you want to do is cut another bottle, take another piece, and you want to lay it over the door, and you want to mark it just a little bit bigger than what the door is. And this is going to become the, the door itself. So you want it to have a little bit bigger than the opening so that it lays flat on the, uh, on the bottle when you uh, put your rubber band around it. So I've marked that one and I'll go ahead and cut it now. And this will become the door for the, parachute, for the uh, drag chute. Now, you can take your, the, I find this works the best, go ahead and take your nose cone, slide it back on so that it's nice and firm, and this will uh, help you when you line up your door and stuff. And now you take, place your door on like that, and put a piece of tape on there. So I'll do that here quick. I usually put a little bit over on the sides and then trim it down. It's a lot easier that way. Okay, now fold your tape over, align your door on there, and make sure it overlaps like it's supposed to. And once you've got it lined up to where it's supposed to be, place your tape down on it, and that will turn around and give you your door. And that makes the door for the parachute system. Now the next piece we're going to do, and this takes a piece of, of uh, sponge, very squeezy natural sponge, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut it to fit inside of this to make a, a piece to push the parachute out. So what I need to do is trim this at an angle here on each side and it gives us our little triangle piece and we set it in there like that and then when the parachute's put in it's pushed in and the nose cone covers and then that will push the parachute out
Now another piece you can do, you want to make sure it's nice and thick enough so that it will it will stick out and the parachute will come out. In this case I was my foam was a little bit thin, wasn't quite thick enough. So I'm gonna add this other piece onto it. And what you do I have to get some more string. <coughs> take a length of string, cut it, and you're going to feed it through the two pieces, or through your, uh, your foam. And there he is. And what you can do here is is take a, a tiny bit of tape and tape your string to the side of a coat hanger. Like that. And then you can use it to push in through your foam. Then you pull your string through, pull your coat hanger out of the way. Now you got the string inside your coat hanger. And what this is used for is, is this is, uh, will keep the parachute from coming out. So what I'm going to do, now that that's in place, I'll pull the cover back off. And I'm going to make a little hole here in the top. And my string will come up through it. I'm going to have to uh, give me something to attach my string to. A little bit of tape. Pull my string up through it. 